Today we are going to learn a cross stitch pattern for a summer hollowed out bag. The thread used is hollow cotton thread. Paired with a 3.5 mm crochet hook. Next, let's crochet together. The material pack comes with four rolls of hollow cotton thread. This bundle of thread is relatively stiff. The crochet bag is three dimensional and shaped. No pilling, no color fading. The tools used include stitch markers, 3.5 mm crochet hook, as well as a sewing needle. First, wrap the crochet hook with thread. Make a slit knot on the finger. Insert the crochet hook into the starting loop. Tighten the loop appropriately. The gesture of the left hand first goes around the little finger, then around the index finger. Pinch the starting loop with the thumb and middle finger. Then wrap the crochet hook with thread. Pull the thread out. This completes a chain stitch. Like a figure eight in front. These two lines like this are our stitches. Flip to the back. Pick up the back line. This line is our gift mountain. At the back of the first chain stitch, place a marker. Mark it. Continue to crochet hook. Pull the yarn around. This completes four chain stitches. Next, using the same method, a total of 44 chain stitches. After completing 44 chain stitches, let's take a look. This is the first stitches. Flip to the back. Pick up the back line. This is its gift mountain. Place a marker at the 44th stitch for reference. Then crochet another chain stitch as the starting stitch. Let's start crocheting the first round. Turn to the back side. Above the marked position. Pull out a strand of yarn. Crochet hook around the yarn and pull it out. Now there are two loops on the crochet hook. Crochet hook around and pull through these two loops at once. This is the technique for a single crochet. Next, on top of the first single crochet, place a marker for reference. Then insert the crochet hook into the back loop of the second stitches. Pull the yarn through. There are two loops on the crochet hook. Crochet hook around the yarn. Pull through these two loops at once. This completes two single crochets. Next, follow the pattern. In each stitches, crochet a single crochet. A total of 43 single crochets are needed. After completing 43 single crochets, the marked stitches is still left unworked. Remove the marker. In the same stitches as the last stitches. Thorn I acute C single crochet. One, two. Three, five, six, seven, eight, ten, two, ten, two, three, two. 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. The three single crochet stitches that come out of the centermost stitch. Place a marker. This is the last stitches. Next we are going to the stitches in front of it. Share a stitches on the left and right. Then insert the stitches in front of the turning point. 
Start crocheting single crochet. Crochet one single crochet in each stitches. The middle part in order. We need to crochet a total of 42 single crochets. Continue to crochet. The hook also serves as a turning point. Crochet three single crochets in each turning point. So we need to crochet two single crochets in the stitches. Crochet two single crochets to make up one. Two, then remove the marker. Insert the crochet hook into the first stitches. Pull up a loop. Crochet a slip stitch. This completes the first round. In the center of the right turning point stitches, place a marker. Crochet the second round next. In each stitches. Crochet a single crochet. The first stitches. Which is the same stitches as the slip stitch. Which is this position. Is our first stitch. First in the first stitches. Crochet a single crochet. Then in the first stitches. Top little braid. Button inside to mark the buttonhole. Next in sequence. Crochet a single crochet in each stitches. In the second round, crochet a total of 90 single crochet. Crochet to the marked buttonhole position. Remove the marker. Crochet a single crochet inside. Then remove the marker. Continue to mark the center point. Next, continue to crochet single crochet in sequence. Crochet a single crochet in each stitches. Continue to mark the center point. Continue to mark in another stitches. Crochet a single crochet. Then continue to mark the marker. Pay attention. Ending position. Here is another large stitches. And a vertical stitches. These two are our extraction marks doesn't count as a needle, so we don't need to crochet. After the second lap is completed, we in the first stitches. Hook and weave a slip stitch to connect. Next, we start to crochet the body of the bag. First of all, crochet as a standing needle. Here is a brief explanation of Bao Sheng's tricks. Each set of patterns takes up 8 stitches. 5 flower shapes need to be crocheted on each side. There is no hook between the two flower shapes. Next we started to crochet the first set of flower shapes. First count the 8 stitches required for the first set of flower shapes. The stitches that crocheted a standing needle is the first stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. When we crochet patterns, we need to cross crochet. So we found the four stitches in five, six, seven, eight. Place a marker button to mark. Next, we need to crochet two flower shapes when forming flower shapes.
Next crochet hook winding. One time. Two times. Wrap yarn around hook three times. Wrap yarn around hook four times. Note there is a cluster here. Wrap yarn around crochet hook four times. Then remove the fifth marker. Insert into the fifth stitches. Pull the yarn through. Now there are a total of six loops on the crochet hook. Wrap yarn around crochet hook. Pull through two loops at once. Wrap yarn around again. Pull through two loops again. Wrap yarn around again. Pull through two loops again. Wrap yarn around. Pull through two loops. Wrap yarn around again, pull through the last two loops. This completes a double crochet with four yarn overs. Next, find the fifth stitches of the standing stitch. Place a marker. Mark the spot. This is the first stitch of our first round. And also after completing our first round, this is where we need to crochet the slip stitch connection. Then remove the marker from the six stitches. Wrap the crochet hook around the yarn four times. Then remove the marker from the six stitches. Wrap the crochet hook around the yarn four times. Then remove the marker from the six stitches. Insert into the six stitches. Pull the yarn through. Then wrap the crochet hook around the yarn. Pull through the first two loops. Wrap the crochet hook around the yarn. Pull through the next two loops. Wrap the crochet hook around the yarn. Pull through the next two loops. Wrap the yarn. Pull through the next two loops. Wrap the yarn. Pull through the next two loops. This completes two double crochet clusters. Next, remove the seventh marker. In the seventh stitches, crochet a double crochet cluster in the seventh stitches. Then remove the 8th marker. In the 8th stitches, crochet a 4 loop double crochet. So we are working in. Stitches 5, 6, 7, and 8. Work a 4 loop double crochet in each of them. Next, locate. Stitches 1, 2, 3, and 4. This completes. Remove the 7th marker. In the 8th marker, place a marker on each. Mark it. This is the first stitch. This is the second stitch. This is the third stitch. This is the fourth stitch. Insert into the first stitches. Pay attention. After coming out, the crochet hook and yarn must be placed in. In the first stitches, crochet a four corner double crochet. Then remove the second marker.
in the second stitches. Crochet a four round double crochet. Remove the marker from the third stitch. In the third stitches, hook and crochet a corner double crochet. Finally, remove the marker from the fourth stitch. Inside, remove the marker, take it down. In the fourth stitches, hook and crochet a corner double crochet. Let's tidy up. A pattern of crossed stitches. Let's make one. We're done. Pay attention here. When crocheting four double crochets, relax a little. If crocheting four double crochets, relax a little. If crocheting too tightly, it will cause the pattern to be too short. And we're done. The first set of patterns. Next, crochet the second set of flowers. Between the first set of flowers and the second set of flowers, space is needed. Do not crochet one stitches. Let's start from the next stitch. One, two, three, four. Then on the fifth stitch, the sixth stitch, the seventh stitch, on the eighth stitch, place a marker separately. Make a mark. Next, we skip one stitches without crocheting. Crochet a chain stitch corresponding to the one above. Connect. Crochet hook around the yarn. On the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth stitches respectively, these four stitches, one group of four double crochets, these four stitches, a group of stitches, Please like, subscribe, share, and support with tips. After crocheting a group of four double crochets in each of the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth stitches, skip the stitch. Count from the previous stitch. One, two, three, four.
we are in four stitches one, two, three, four respectively. Respectively mark each one with a marker. Here we must pay attention. There is a gap of one stitch between our two flower patterns without a crochet. Then respectively in. One, two, three, four. In these four stitches, crochet a four roll double crochet respectively. Please don't hesitate to like, subscribe, share, and support with tips. In this way, the second flower pattern is completed. Next, crochet the third flower pattern. Before crocheting the third flower pattern, let's first count the stitches. The first stitch is to be skipped and not counted. Start counting from the second stitch. One, two, three, four. Then in the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth stitches. Place a marker respectively. Correspondingly, crochet a chain stitch. Continue to crochet the third flower pattern. One in the fifth stitch, one in the sixth stitch, one in the seventh stitch, and one in the eighth stitch respectively. Crochet one double crochet in each stitch. Then in the twelve thirty-four stitches. Cross crochet for double crochets. Then we repeat the pattern ourselves. In total, we can crochet five patterns on the first side. After completing five sets of patterns, we have reached the turning point. The position of the marker is the stitches to be skipped. Skip one stitch. Crochet a chain stitch corresponding to the skipped stitch. Then turn to the other side of the fabric. The position of the marker does not count as skipped. Count from the front one stitch, 1234. Then on 5678, place a marker. Then crochet hook around the yarn.
one in the fifth stitch, one in the sixth stitch, one in the seventh stitch, and one in the eighth stitch respectively. Crochet one double crochet in each of the 56 78 stitches. Continue, continue, continue. Please like, subscribe, share, and support with tips. The first stitch is the marker stitch. We skip without hooking. We start counting from the stitch in front of it. One, two, three, four. Make a marker stitch for each. Then crochet hook around the yarn. In 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 stitches respectively, crochet a double crochet in each stitch. Continue, 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 continue. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, and support with tips. We won't repeat the demonstration for you later. After completing five sets of patterns, we have come to the starting position. Crochet a chain stitch. Skip the marker stitch below without hooking. Because this is actually the connection point of two flower shapes. We handle the connection between us and the normal two flower shapes in the same way. 
After completing the first round of flower shapes, we need to connect with the position where the first stitch was marked for everyone. Crochet a slip stitch for connection at the marked stitch position. Lift the marker stitch position. Pull the yarn through the stitch above. Pull the yarn out. Pull directly into the previous loop. This completes the first round. Then crochet three chain stitches. As the starting stitch, let's start crocheting the second round. Pull this needle in, 